Okay, so welcome back to another great day of our period streak of day 1 to under 10. Let us see what the today's question about. Today's question name is tree. Uh, what is this? Today's question name is tree transformation. And what it is written here is that you are given a tree containing n nodes in the form of array p, where p of i represents the para, uh, parent of ith node and p of 0 is minus 1. That is, it is representing the root node at index 0. So in one boom, you can merge any two adjacent nodes, calculate the minimum number of moves required to turn the tree into a star tree. So star tree, kya hota hai? Pahle wo dekh lete hai. star tree hamara kuch aise dekhta hai, right? Hamare paas sirf ek, ek point hota hai. एक नोड होता है जिससे बाकी सारे नोड्स डिराइव हो, हो रहे होते हैं राइट सो दैट दैट इज नोन एज स्टार ट्री ठीक है वापस क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं तो अगर आप सेकंड एग्जांपल आप देखो तो देखो यही हो रहा है जब भी ये इस एरे को यूज करके जब ट्री बनाया तो लास्ट में हमें वो सारे नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स बताने हैं जहां पे एक नोड से सारे नोड्स निकलने चाहिए राइट लाइक नॉट सारे वो मूव कौन से होंगे कितने मूव होंगे कि इस पर्टिकुलर स्टार ट्री में पैटर्न बन जाए राइट तो हम ये दूसरा टेस्ट केस देखेंगे तुरंत से और उसे देखेंगे कि सबसे पहले इनपुट और आउटपुट आके से रहा एंड देन वी विल डू इट सो हमारे पास एरे कैसे गिवन है वन माइनस वन एंड देन वी हैव फोर जीरोज एंड देन टू टू फाइव राइट इफ आई राइट द इंडेक्स वट वुड बी जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन राइट सो दैट मीन्स जीरो इज आर रूट नोट एंड देन सिंस जीरो फोर जीरोज आर रिटर्न एट द इंडेक्स ऑफ वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो दिस इज नॉट द इंडेक्स इज नथिंग बट इट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द नोड and this is representing the parent right this is the ith value and this is the p of i right so what zero has four children that is one two three and four similarly uh, this is parent right so the node was five so uh, the node uh, node five here will be present which is the parent of two similarly for six it would be here and the five which is for seven right so seven is the pair five is the parent of seven right this is our node this is our tree. Now we have to convert it into a star tree. Star tree me kya hota hai ki we just have one particular node, let's say x, and everything is derived from this particular x, right? So that is known as your star topology or star tree. So how can we do that? So how they have done in the, here is that what first what they have done that they have merged five to two, right? So they have merged five to two, and then what they are saying that seven will come here, right? So it is zero, then one, two, one, two, three, four. And then this is uh, this is two, right? So this becomes six, and this becomes seven. Similarly, what they say, then you merge. First of all, they merge this node, right? Then they said to merge two with zero, right? So first uh, they merge five, right? Five with two. They first five with two, and then it merges two to zero. So they merge two now, right? So that means if you merge it, then you have this as final final tree, right? Zero, one. Instead of two, you will have two more children now, seven and six, and then three and four, right? So if you observe, please, please pause this video and try to observe something that why that are there any particular patterns in the node which is getting most, right? Wo node, like, uh, is there any particular thing associated with that particular node which is getting more? Like, that it would be a leaf node or internal nodes. Please observe that and come back to this video again. So, yes, you were right. The, obs the observation was always that they are merging, they are merging the internal nodes right the internal nodes right because the leaf node will all will, will anyway will have just one uh, associated uh, node right like 7 will just associate to 5 6 with, with 2 3 to 0 and 4 to 0 and 1 to 0 but if you see at an internal node let's say if i look at this 2 right then 2 will have the relationship with 0 as well as 5 and 6 right so we need to omit this relationship right so what would be our so if we have made our tree via this given array then what according to our observation we just have to find the count of internal nodes right so in this particular tree what is the count of internal nodes the internal nodes here are two uh, let me use a different color now so the internal nodes here is two and the internal node here is five rest all of them are the leaf nodes right also this is your zero that is a root node right so let us uh, so let us count all the nodes which is a non leaf node so it would be zero two and five Right, so the count would be three, but then again, we do not have to omit our root node, right? We just have to uh, omit all the nodes except the leaf node and except the root node, right? So three minus one that will give you two, right? So we have the total count, we have the total count of node, right? Which is given as what n, right? Then we can form this tree and we can run a loop saying that counting the number of leaf node. And when we have a leaf node, then n minus count, let's say, will give you the answer of 
the total internal nodes but since we do not want to include the root node as well so i will say n minus count minus one right now how can we find this count count is nothing but the number of leaf node how can we find this count right so what we what we can do here is that uh, uh, what we can do here is um, let me write the uh, what to say the array again so or i can use this space yep i can use this space okay so as you can see uh, that zero that here that uh, this one is connected to zero and zero is connected to one similarly two connected to zero and zero connected to right so what if you maintain an array let's say in the name of connection right which have a length of n right and it will have like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so 0 will always have the root node right so we will iterate from let's say 1 equals to less than equals to n and what will happen is that we know that 1 is connected to 0 and 0 connected to 1 right so what we will do is that connection of i plus plus because it has uh, because this i and p of i is connected right so we just need to say that uh, this this i and p of i is connected right so we are just maintaining the pointer right how many connections are there for each and every for each and every individual nodes right so i can say connection of i plus plus because it has a connection to p of i and similarly i can say connection of p of i plus plus because it has the connection to i right similarly like this we can maintain the number of connections each node have so if i do for this uh, one so first i will do that uh, uh, i plus plus right for i equals to one and then the p of i is zero so i will do uh, uh, at the at the index zero i will do plus plus again right similarly for i equals to two what will happen first of all i plus plus right and then again it will update it as two similarly for three so it will be again zero will be converted to one and this two will become three similarly for i equals to four first of all i plus plus and then we'll do p of i plus plus so it will again come as it will be as four right now if i come at index equals to five so again i will do five pluses because this five is connected to two and what is the and then i will go for index two and then i will again increment the count that is two now again for six first i will do since six is connected to so i will do index of six plus plus uh, like connection of six plus plus and then it since it is connected to two then i will do here also plus plus right similarly for index equals to seven i will do here and then i will do here right so if you observe if you observe that what these numbers are saying that let's say we are talking about this index two so this three is indicating that the number of connections this particular node 2 has is 3 and you can verify this as well this this node 2 has the connection with 0 as well as 5 as well as 6 that is count as 3 let us verify for some more let us verify for 5 so this array is saying the number of connections uh, this node 5 has 2 let us verify that as well so 5 is connected to 2 and the 5 is connected to 7 definitely right so okay and whenever the pointer whenever the value is equal to 1 so that is representing your leaf node right so for 3 4 1 7 and 6 you should have value 1 so for 3 4 6 7 and 1 you can see the value is 1 here right so we just have to build this array and after building this array uh, you just have to iterate in the loop and you have to check that if connection of if connection of i is equals to equals to 1 then what you will do count plus plus and this count will give you the number of leaf node right and if you once you got the leaf node then you just have to return the internal nodes minus the root node so n minus count minus 1 will give you your answer one more thing I observed that in the first test case, although the answer one is correct, but uh, this is not a star structure, I guess, right? You know, like there are some mistype in this question or typos, but yes, output is one because you can see in this in this tree the number of internal nodes is just this one, one, right? Uh, yeah, excluding the root node, else everything is the leaf node, right? So that is why the output is one. But they have said merging zero to two. Instead, they would have said, uh, instead they, इन्हें कहना चाहिए था कि we should have merged zero to one, right? तो इसका structure होना चाहिए था कि three, four and two coming out from zero. That would be the correct structure. But I think that's a typo in this uh, uh, today's question. But yes, we have. Uh, we know what's the logic right so let us uh, please pause this video again for let's do two to three minutes and try to code this approach by yourself okay so as you can see we have done the code that first of all we make a connection array now we did the number for each and every index we we have tracked the number of connections for each and every node it has this i is representing the node right and this connection of i is representing the, representing the connection that particular ith node has Similarly, we are iterating for the in the connection as well. And if it is equals equals to one, the value is equals to one, then definitely that's a leaf node. And we are doing answer plus plus. So this answer is nothing but 
representing the number of leaf nodes. And at last we return the total count minus the leaf node minus 1. Minus 1 because we are not uh, associating the root node in the answer, right? So let us hit the submit button. While it is submitting, let us analyze the constraint. So constraint is 10 power 5 and the dynamosity is O of n, which is less than 10 power 8. And that is why our code, our code will get submitted, right? You can see all the test cases have been passed. What is the space complexity? Since we have used this uh, int connection array for n uh, space, right? So it would be O of n. And that's what given in here. If you have any other further approach, which can be uh, what to say, space optimized, because I don't think you can further optimize it to beyond below n. So if you have a space optimization approach, please comment down uh, in the comment section and we will appreciate that approach if that is right. Okay, let me show you the C code. Okay, so that's the C code. We have declared the connection array marking each and every value as zero. In Java, that is not required. In Java, each value is either zero or null, and that is predefined. And then we are iterating in the again the same for loop, and then we have answer counting the number of leaf leaf nodes, and we are returning n minus leaf node, number of leaf node minus the uh, root node, right? This one is associated with the root node, right? So that is it. Uh, this question was actually easy, not a very tough question. It was just that you have to figure out some pattern because I always say that whether a tree question you have to do the traversal, right? But this time the traversal was not applicable. You just have to observe it that what is happening uh, during the test cases. But uh, uh, regarding the first test case, you may have. <coughs> Uh, wasted your uh, five to six minutes because I have <coughs> my time was also wasted uh, in seeing that because I know that the star tree is nothing but uh, uh, just one node and every other node will be associated with that particular node, right? But this is definitely not a star tree, right? So there is some typos here. So that is it. Uh, we have done this question. You can start and fork this DSL repository to get hold with the source code. You can always connect me on Insta and LinkedIn if you if you have any doubts or guidance if you may have, right? Let us end this video here and let us meet tomorrow in the another great day of our beauty streak of day 211. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye and take care.